Answer to this one is negative 42. Answer to this one is negative 15. Yeah. Answer for this one should be 1. Answer should be 7. Answer should be 16. We have 4 out of 8, which is 50%. Pick a number from 1 to 20 for the 4 of you that have homework. The winning numbers are 2, 5, 11, 12, and 14. Here's a multiple choice before we get the homework answers. Yeah, but I just, I just multiplied. And then come out right. The homework answers. For each one, you're going to get a point if you have both zeros right. If you have both zeros, that's one point. If you have the axis of symmetry right, you get one point. If you have the vertex right, you get one point. And the graph is also going to be one point. So you could get 12 points today out of 10 uh, possible. Actually, it's zero possible because they're all extra credit for the ones you get right. But for number one, you should have negative one and a negative third for the zeros. The axis of symmetry is a negative two-thirds, and the vertex is a negative two over three and a one-third. Here's the graph for number one. Well, here's number two, and the zeros are one and one-half. Positive one, positive one-half. The axis of symmetry is 3 over 4. The vertex is 3 fourths and a negative 1 fourth. Here's the graph for number 2. And for number 3, the zeros are a negative half and a positive 5 and a half. The axis of symmetry is 2 and a half. The vertex is 2 and a half nine and a fourth. Here's the graph for number three. Here's example one. Y equals a negative x squared minus three x plus four. How can I start this problem? Yeah, we could uh, take out a negative one we could do negative 1 times the quantity of x squared plus 3x minus 4 and we can see if we can factor it. Is there an, are there two numbers that multiply to get negative 4 and add to get a positive 3? Three and negative 1? Four and negative one, yeah. Four and negative one would do it. So if it's four and negative one, you would make it x plus four, x minus one. Because those numbers multiply to get negative four and add to get three. Now, let's say that I thought it couldn't be factored. Could I still try to solve the problem? Yeah. What could I do? Okay. Quadratic formula, yeah. So since we factored it out, what's our zeros going to be? Negative 4 and 1, and how did you come up with those? Yeah, just switch these, especially if there's just an x in there. If you had like a 2x inside those parentheses, you can't just switch them. You have to actually solve them out. All right, so those are the zeros. What's next? AOS, yeah, axis of symmetry. 
Yeah, negative B over 2A. What's my B? B is negative 3, and uh, A is what? Negative 1. How many negative signs do I have in this? I have three of them, so the sign of my answer is what? Negative. And it's a negative what? 3 over 2, which is also what? No, we don't want to go upwards. We've already, we already have it reduced. We want to change it to a mixed number. Yeah, negative one and a half. Either way, but when you go to a graph, you want a mixed number. It's kind of hard to graph three and a half, or uh, three over two, I should say. All right, what's after the axis of symmetry? Vertex, yes. Vortex is a Nerf football that you can throw very far. The vertex is the point on the graph that we're looking for. It says Somebody always says vortex. It's, it's no. I've never been to Kings Island. Uh, let's see. For the vertex, I have to do y equals a negative quantity squared of negative one and a half and then minus three times a negative one and a half and then plus four we're inserting that x value into the equation so you can just type it into your calculator if you have a calculator with parentheses then you can do negative left hand parentheses negative one point five right hand squared minus three left hand negative 1.5 right hand and then plus 4 what do you get back? Six and a fourth or six point two five we'll just make we'll be consistent and make it six and a fourth but that's not the vertex though the vertex is the actual point and it's negative one and a half comma six and a quarter The, the zeros are negative 4 and 1, so here's negative 4 and there's 1. The vertex was a negative 1 and a half. That's the x value and that's also the axis of symmetry there. And you, from there you have to go down 6, or not down, but up, 6 and a quarter. So 6 and a quarter would be approximately there. So you have that, so if you want two points on either side you'd have to choose this and this. So if I plug in a 2, if I plug in a 2 on the original one, which is uh, the original problem was uh, y equals negative x squared minus 3x plus 4. If I put in a 2, I'm going to get back a negative 6. So I'm going to go over here to negative 6, over 2, negative 6. And then I'm going to go to negative 5 and down 6 because I would get the same thing from there. So I'm going to make this a zoomed graph. So let's just pretend this is my entire graph paper and I'm going all the way through it. So here is the left side and here is the right side. Looks like my vertex has just shifted over a little bit but that's fine. It's a rough graph. Here's the practice. Part one of the, gra of the practice is just to bring me the zeros on a small piece of paper. You have to find the zeros, so I'm going to use the quadratic formula. That's negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times a times c over 2 times a. So that's a negative 6 plus or minus. And when you evaluate this in here, that's going to be 36 minus 32, which is 4. And of course, the square root of 4 is going to be 2. So you have two problems to do from there. Negative 6 plus 2 over 4 and negative 6 minus 2 over 4. For the one on the left, that's going to be a negative 4 over 4. On the right, that's a negative 8 over 4. 
So it's negative 1 or negative 2. Answer is negative 4. Answer on this one is 5. For this one, I just need the axis of symmetry. For the axis of symmetry, it's negative b over 2a. So that's negative 6 over 2 times 2. That's negative 6 over 4, which is negative 3 over 2, or a negative 1.5, or a negative 1.5. For this, it should be negative x plus 3x, and then negative 8 plus 2. So it's 2x equals a negative 6, so the answer should be a negative 3. All right, need the vertex next. On the vertex, you got to plug in a negative 1 and a half. And uh, when you plug in a negative 1 and a half, you'll come back with... Same one again. Should be negative 0 0.5, but you got to have the uh, negative one and a half that goes with it. For the bonus, that should be a negative two and six. Here's another one. You have to factor this out first, and two numbers that multiply to get 10 and add to get 7 are 5 and 2, but you reverse them to get the solution. Alright, now I need the graph. 